we go for uh, the two interviews, I would put them together because it's a, one is the general interview, the other one is the field interview. Nevertheless, they are both interviews, right? Yes. Uh, how do you prepare that? Uh, again, I mean, uh, I cannot uh, stress it more. I mean, I think that uh, go to trainings um, because this is where you will, I mean, you will learn, uh, as you say, the protocol, um, the right approach, you know, the right way of thinking. Because again, um, and I'm saying this not only for the general competence uh, competence interview, where this is really, you know, uh, mastering what EPSO is going to ask you and understanding your your personality, your background, what you did, etc. Et but I'm saying this also for the field interview, because again, you might be the, the, the expert, uh, I mean, lawyer uh, in, uh, in town, but still, you know, if you don't know how to, to condense um what they're gonna ask you in uh, in uh, you know in the right amount of time and you know in the right way then uh, you're not going to score so enough i would add uh, we are talking about the structure of the responses so you have to have a good structure we are talking yes. about the timing so you have to time yourself in two minutes and a half that's my timing and then as you said, uh, in both cases and for the general interview and for the field interview, you have to understand what they are looking for, right? So yes. by understanding what they are looking for, then you phrase your example so that you kind of tick the boxes, let's say in the theory, in your, in your mind, and then hopefully uh, that makes them tick the boxes in their evaluation sheet. Absolutely. Yes. Um, good. And last but not least, the famous situational. <laughs> yes, exactly. The, yes. On the situation as well, uh, again, this is a very, let's say, new uh, type of test that uh, was, uh, was conceived by, by EPSO. So um, as everyone knows, this replaces the group exercise, uh, at least for the time being. And how to prepare? Uh, well, again, go to trainings. Uh, that's uh, where you will learn. <laughs> Sorry? Hopefully you find a good one. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so go to trainings and um, and then again, I mean, again, you have to, to learn the protocol and that you will uh, you will learn it at um, at the trainings and um, and you have to rehearse. I mean, this is I mean, I think that this applies, you know, to to all the other steps that we mentioned before as well. Uh, because you know when it comes to the CBT it's practicing and that is something that you know everyone understands but when it comes to these interviews uh, and this is something that you know uh, some people might not uh, think about you need to rehearse and after that you I mean after learning the protocol yeah That's an actor isn't it uh, well, even uh, even better, I would say, because you know, uh, here you have to understand yourself. You have to to you know to to look at the past, you know, examples where you you can show what they're looking for, and without lying, without you know uh, yes. playing a role, then you you need you need to be able you know to. To uh, you know, to speak about yourself uh, in a very uh, you know concise manner. Uh, what comes to my mind, Andrea, to say that you have to play yourself at the best self. Yes, exactly. You have to yes to be and play yourself. Yes, exactly. At the best possible way, right? Mm -hmm. What I would like to add for the situational is, as you said, learn the protocol. Gosh, if you don't have the protocol, you are lost, right? You have yes. To and then once you have the good protocol then you go on the rehearse and the rehearse is really go through um i mean as many times as you want but you have to be so uh, aware of all the aspects of the of the file that if i ask you from uh, let's say from this angle from that angle from another angle if i turn you upside down inside out you have to fall on your feet all the time right so then you do a successful situational interview makes sense yes exactly so yes so obviously luck is important but you know you have to be prepared so because otherwise you know 
you're not gonna help you know your uh, your own luck right absolutely right so uh, but i think it's uh yeah, there, there is some somewhere saying that uh, life comes, no, luck comes to the prepared minds, something like that, right? Well, I, I couldn't subscribe more to this statement, yes, exactly. <laughs>